Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're gonna to be talking about why bodybuilders use T3 and T2 thyroid hormone and not T4 thyroid hormone, which is like level thyroxine. So why as a thyroid patient would you even care what bodybuilders are doing? Well, for one important reason, these bodybuilders are willing to put their health on the line by essentially turning themselves into human guinea pigs to see even small percent increases in their capacity uh, for competitions and things like that. So what we can do is we can take that information that they've learned along the way and apply it to thyroid patients. So we can take all the good and get rid of all the bad. So it actually is a useful exercise to, to look at bodybuilders and what they're doing and why they're doing it, and then take that information and apply it to you, uh, the thyroid patient who is listening to this. So first of all, let's talk about it. What or why are bodybuilders even using T3 and T2 thyroid hormone? They're doing it for weight loss, right? So what they're doing is they're continuing with the regular routine and they're adding on the T3 and the T2 thyroid hormone component to help their bodies lose weight and burn fat to cut as they get ready for competitions. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky endeavor because T3 and T2 thyroid hormone, they have a catabolic effect on muscles and bone tissue such that as you take higher and higher doses, yes, your metabolism will increase, but you'll also start to break down your muscle tissue and you'll start to break down your bone tissue, which is what happens when you become hyperthyroid. So these are all lessons that thyroid patients can take. Now, what I really wanna point out here is the fact that bodybuilders do not use level thyroxine or T4 thyroid hormone, right? When you, whenever you look around, they're always looking for T3 and T2 and not T4. Now remember, if you're new to the, this thyroid thing, level thyroxine contains T4 only thyroid hormone, which means if you're using level thyroxine or Synthroid, you're only getting T4. In order to get T3, which you can, you can add to your medication, it has to be in a additional medication form or an additional supplement form, which we will talk about in just a second. But I wanna point out that bodybuilders are not interested in T4, which is what you're taking. So if you're a thyroid patient and you're, you're listening to this and you, you're overweight and you're wondering, why am I not losing weight when I'm taking my level thyroxine or my thyroid medication? This is why. Level thyroxine is a pro-hormone, meaning it must be activated to T3 in order to help you with weight loss. Now your doctor knows this. They give it to you because they assume, or they're making this big assumption, that when they give you T4, your body will have no problem converting it into T3. Now, obviously that isn't the case because if it were the case, then taking that T4 would help you lose weight because it would increase your T3 levels. But that's usually not what's happening, right? In fact, the, the opposite usually happens. In fact, many people actually gain weight. So we know that taking level thyroxine is not the same thing as taking T3 and the body, even as much as doctors wish it were the case, is generally not very efficient at taking that T4 and turning it into T3 or even T2 down the line. So essentially in a nutshell, the reason why bodybuilders are using T3 and T2 is because it helps with weight loss. And we talked about why they're not using T4. Now, the question is for you, if you were to add T3 as a thyroid patient, would it help you lose weight? And by the way, this also goes along with T2. And the answer is probably, in fact, or at least at the very least, it would give you a better chance at losing weight than T4 thyroid medication would by itself. So if you are a thyroid patient listening to this and you're interested in losing weight, it would be probably a good idea to consider the combination of adding T3 and T2 to your T4 in this case, level thyroxine. And you can do that by adding a prescription thyroid medication in the form of Cytomel or Lyothyronine, which both contain T3. And on top of that, you can also take T2 thyroid hormone in supplement form. Remember, T2 is the only prescription or is the only thyroid, thyroid hormone that does not require a prescription. So you could add T3 and T2 to your T4 base and that would help you lose weight. Now, is there a difference between the use of thyroid hormone in a bodybuilder and the use of thyroid hormone in a thyroid patient, right? Because one thing that we wanna make sure we do is don't put anyone in danger or cause any unwanted side effects as what can occur in a bodybuilder, right? Because a bodybuilder is somebody who has normal thyroid function. But you listening to this, you don't, right? Because you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be listening to this first of all. And we know that you have low thyroid or hypothyroidism, which is why you're taking thyroid medication. So the two situations are completely different from that perspective. From the perspective of the bodybuilder, there is a small risk that they could cause problems to their body and their thyroid by taking that extra T3 thyroid hormone. But that's not the case with you because you need it. Your body is deficient in thyroid hormone. So the same side effects don't always apply. Now I wanna make sure that we're clear on that. 
If you're a thyroid patient and you take T4, T3, and T2, provided they're in the correct doses, you're not at risk for developing negative side effects like the bodybuilder would be because they don't really need it. They're just augmenting their physiology to help with weight loss to try and get themselves somewhere where it would be harder to get there otherwise. So there is a big difference between the use of T3 and T2 in a bodybuilder and the use of T3 and T2 in a thyroid patient. So the bottom line is, is it safe and effective for a thyroid patient to use these medications and hormones? Absolutely. And they shouldn't be compared. So we can, we can draw the good information that we can from the bodybuilder community, and then we can leave the side effects and, and such away because we know that that's not the case for you listening to this. So that's all I have for you today on this particular topic. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you're wondering about how to get T3 and T2, remember T3 is in a prescription thyroid medication and T2 can be uh, purchased over the counter in supplement form. So that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise I'll see you in the next one.